Hey Earth Signs and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your Friday, the 29th of March love reading. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn in that order. We'll get three cards for you Taurus, past where you're coming from, where you're at now, and where it's headed. Bottom of your deck will be your shared energy. So let's get three cards for you. First card that wanted to come out is the Three of Wands. Let me tip you down here. Your second card out is the Nine of Wands. And you got two cards that came out for your future. That's the Star and the Emperor. Your bottom of the deck and shared energy is the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Clarified by the King of Cups in reverse and the Eight of Wands. Bottom of the deck, next card out is the Tower um, for your uh, future energy card, followed by the Sun. So, wow, lots of major arcana here. Wow. Your bottom of the deck goes on for days. Um, you guys have the tower. The sun comes out after the tower falls, putting you in a pause with the hanged man. After walking away from an emotional situation and getting um, some clarity to a situation with the help of the judgment card. So, <clears throat> excuse me. All right, Taurus, let's see what we got here. So your bottom of the deck is, um, and shared energy is, you feel like giving up. You feel like you just can't put any more in. You're growing impatient with the situation. You're growing impatient with a certain person. Could be dealing with somebody who's very emotionally imbalanced. Not sure what they want, when they want it. One day they're hot, one day they're cold. One day they want this relationship, the next day they don't. Um, and it's just causing you uh, to not be not sure where you want to uh place your energy not sure if you even want to invest in this situation anymore um this person could be emotionally um, manipulative too um a lot of emotional ups and downs like a roller coaster with this energy um and communication is going to open up about this situation um it has been very silent for very a very long time um could be you know a very cold atmosphere between you and your person um but communication is going to finally open up about that uh, with that Eight of Wands. You're dealing with a very fiery energy um, with a lot of passion, a lot of uh, a lot of fire here. All fire except for the Star card. Um, let's see why the Three of Wands is here in your past. Why is the Three of Wands here for Taurus in the past? Alright, the Four of Cups. So, um, it, your past energy coming up to this point is the three of wands. You could have been distant from each other, from somebody, could have been at a distance physically or emotionally, but trying to manifest this situation back into a position of good standings, um, waiting for those blessings to come in, waiting for this person to come around, waiting for this person to get their emotions in check. So you're not so, so this wasn't so all over the place, but, um, being emotionally distant, having that rift between the two of you um, for quite some time, but um, and just not really um, seeing what the universe was having to offer for you, really focusing on um, the Three of Cups. Um, there could have been a third party situation, most definitely in the past, between you and your person, whether you had it, Taurus, or they did. Somebody did not see the cup that was right in front of them. Somebody did not see the blessing that was in their life um, up to this point with the Four of Cups, kind of taking you for granted, Taurus, or you were taking somebody else for granted. Um, I'm seeing for a lot of you, Taurus, you were the one that was sitting there waiting for this person to to almost come to their senses, to figure out their emotions, to figure out what they wanted. Um, and you were just sitting here waiting for them to figure that out, to, to um, realize your value. In your current energy, you have the nine of wands. You're just so tired, tired of this situation, tired of this energy, tired of the coldness. Um, and you just don't know how much more you can um, take. You don't know how much more you can keep fighting this. Your intuition is trying to tell you what's best for you, trying to lead you in the way 
in the direction that you're meant to go um, because love shouldn't be this hard. It shouldn't be this much work. You shouldn't feel like at the end of every day you just came out of battle and bruised, um, you know, bruised and broken. So you're being encouraged to listen to your intuition, Taurus. It's trying to point you in the right direction. It's trying to um, show you the way. Listen to that inner guide. Uh, on where you are to go next because there is a rebirth here for you very soon um, as soon as you begin to quiet your mind and listen to your intuition and not only listen to it but follow it in your guys' future energy you do have the emperor so dealing with somebody who is um, likes to be in control um, or this is you regaining your strength finding your power um, standing your ground defending what it is that you want out of this world out of you what do you want out of this relationship and if they can't um, if they can't hack it then it's time to go yeah and the death card just flew out of there in reverse so it's time to um, allow this transformation. It's time to regain your strength, your power, your confidence, and allow this rebirth to happen. Allow this death process. Allow the energy that is not serving you to leave um, because you have been feeling stuck. But you're going to um, regain your power. You're going to take that back. You will go through this death process um, eventually as soon as you quit fighting it, as soon as you allow your intuition to guide you there. Um, you will purge out this energy that is not for your greatest good. And you will have a beautiful spiritual rebirth in the energy of the star. So very, very healing, very balanced, very loving energy for yourself, for others. This is also divine timing. But um, it's being clarified by the Eight of Swords. So moving in this direction of healing, getting out of this energy that um, is dragging you down is going to free you. It's going to allow that uh, mental conflict to um, dissipate. It's going to allow you to realize and see that you're not stuck in this situation um, any longer. You don't have to be stuck in this. I mean, look at that card. It's like a fiery hell. You're not, you don't have to stay in this um, energy and all these major arcana, you got a lot of big changes coming up, Taurus. You just, you can't, um, you just can't, uh, allow your mind to make you feel like you're stuck with this person or in this situation, however that fits. Um, let's see what this tower is about. I'm just kind of curious with all that major arcana at the bottom of your deck. There we go. All right, so clarifying the tower here, you have an emotional shakeup. You have um, this emotional upheaval coming. Um, it is, the universe is going to shine some light on some situations that um, could cause this tower. Do not fear it because once this tower happens, you will find that energy of the star. You will find this healing. You will get over this heartache. This heartache has been going on for a long time. Um, a long time with this third party situation you've been in this heartache for far too long it's time to let go it's time to get out of this fiery hell in your head and move forward in the star allowing that heartache to um heal you're going to heal that heart in the in this energy of the hermit taking a step back um going within figuring out what it is that you want um and leaving behind all that doesn't suit you because you have a promise of a new beginning, an abundant new beginning um, that the universe is going to bless you with when you move into your true path, when you allow your intuition to guide you where you're meant to be. Because for this group of you, you can feel this is not where you're meant to be. There's more to life. There's more to a relationship than what you've been getting. And you're going to get that new beginning, but you have to close the chapter to the past and allow that healing for you Tauruses that are dealing with this situation um, so you can begin the next chapter in your life, whether it's with this person or not. For the majority of you, I see it's not. This person is very emotional, manipulating, and very up and down. You're just tired of the roller coaster ride, Taurus, and you're going to get off it here very soon. So let's move on to our Virgos. Virgos. Here we go. What do our Virgos have for Friday, the 29th of March, 2019? Our Virgo friends. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. A 
couple more shuffles here, Virgos. All right, here we go. Virgo, with three cards, past, present, future. All right, your first card out is the Four of Swords in reverse. Here we go, past, present, future. All right, your present energy, you had two flip. It is the Ace of Cups in reverse and the Ten of Swords. And your future energy is the Devil. Your guys' bottom of the deck and shared energy with you and your person is Judgment in reverse. Clarified by the Ten of Cups in reverse. And the Princess of Cups in reverse. Your next card out is the Eight of Swords in reverse. So you are also getting out of a place of being stuck. Could be dealing with a Taurus. Um, but... You have to uh, you have to see the truth in the situation. Yeah, you have to see the truth in the situation in order to get out of this trapped feeling. So we will start with your uh, shared energy with you and somebody. <clears throat> so you have the judgment in reverse. You're not seeing it. You're not hearing the wake up call. You're not receiving your um, your clarity because you're choosing to turn a blind eye to it. Um, you you are not uh, wanting to see what the universe is trying to show you because you're staying stuck in this this situation that is emotionally draining. Um, it's like a loveless relationship. I'm not saying there isn't love there because I do see for the majority of you, you do have children with this person, but you're not in love with this person. There's not that free flowing love between the two of you um, that once was there. So um, this relationship could be coming to an end for you, uh, Virgos, especially with the judgment in reverse. Uh, the universe is going to step in uh, and help you in whatever direction that may be for you. Um, but you have to, you have to notice the signs the universe is trying to give you the synchronicities, the symbols, the, the wake up call. Um, you have to be open to receive that in order for them to help you move, um, in the direction of something that will be emotionally happy and satisfying, um, with the princess of cups here in reverse. Um, you're just the emotion, the love has just run dry. Um, you could be putting on a facade. You could be acting like you're happy to the outside world. This is a, you know, a picture perfect, um, family, but on the inside, you're just drained and emotionally spent and don't know what to do. Um, this is a very, uh, emotionally, uh, draining situation that you're dealing with Virgo in the past. You guys, um, once again, we're needing to take that rest and, and take a step back and heal from some heartache of the past with that three of swords um, and, and walk forward with that one sword, that truth. Um, but you are, a lot of you are turning a blind eye to it. You don't want to see the truth. You don't want to deal with the heartache. Um, and so that's leading, leading you right into the energy of this being stuck, of this um, heartache and emotional um, dissatisfaction. Why is this Four of Swords here? The King of Wands. So, um, yeah, you could have been dealing with a fire sign, somebody who is very sure, very confident, very um, wears their heart on their sleeve, would do anything for you. There could have been some heartache over this fire sign, um, male or female. Um but you haven't healed over that person. You need to take the time to heal from this um, fire sign in order to be able to move forward um, into a happier energy. Um, this could have been a third-party situation with that three of swords there. Uh, and you had to, you didn't follow your heart. You had to walk away from this fire sign um, causing you all this pain. And you're refusing to, to deal with that, refusing to... Um, heal from that. For some of you now, um, it's calling for you to have the confidence and the courage to move forward and deal with that pain and that, um, deal with that healing process, um, taking action. It's time to take action in your current energy with the 10 of swords and the ace of cups. Uh, that's a pretty, um, it's a pretty heavy energy, Virgo. Um, you're dealing with heartache of the past. You could have felt betrayed by somebody. You could have betrayed somebody. Let's see what that's all about. Why is the Ten of Swords here for Virgo and their current energy? 
I have a ten of swords here for Virgo. Thank you. Um, okay, once again, you had two flips. So, <clears throat> yeah, you're having a lot of inner conflict about this, Virgo. There was a lot of people in your business. There was a lot of people trying to tell you what to do. You are allowing people to, um, to get in your head to tell you things that you didn't necessarily feel, but you went along with them to go with the crowd. And now you're just feeling dead inside. You're feeling just at the end of your rope. The positive thing is, is this is the end of a cycle. But once again, you have the four swords in reverse. You're still not dealing with it. You need to deal with this pain. Pain. You need to deal with the ending of this relationship, whether you're the one that caused it or they are. You have to heal from that in order to move on. You're allowing all the thoughts in your head to get the best of you. You're allowing outside influences to um, to direct your path and where you're going, to, to tell you um, how to live your life pretty much. You need to take back control. You need to take back control. You need to find some healing and allow this cycle of this uh, Ten of Swords to to come to a close so you can heal properly and move forward and find that happiness again. Why is the Ace of Cups here in reverse for Virgo currently? All right, the Eight of Swords in reverse. So, in order for you to receive this um, new emotional beginning, this new um, overabundance of love, of joy, you need to get out of this place of being stuck. You are allowing your inner conflict to keep you somewhere where you're not meant to be. Um, this is a lot of tears, a lot of sadness, a lot of um, emotional uh, grief over losing somebody, of not being able to get out of a situation that you are currently trapped in, um, whether that be job, family, uh, another partner, however it fits for you. Um, once you get out of this place of being stuck, you will be able to find that love and joy again. Um, but you do have the Eight of Swords twice here in reverse, so that's positive. Um, you are going to get out of this uh, stagnant energy that Virgo, you guys have been inhabiting for a long time. <clears throat> All right. And your uh, outlook card is the devil. Could be dealing with a Capricorn, but uh, this is somebody that you are um, tied to, bonded to. All right. Bottom of the deck is the King of Cups. So you are going to find the courage to uh, follow your heart to get you out of this place of being stuck. But with the devil, you are going to find success in... Um, in either controlling this bond or um, breaking free from this bond. Um, this could be a, a bond through a marriage. This relationship could be toxic. Um, there is um, a lot of uh, feeling like you have to be with this person um, from what I am getting but you are going to be able to successfully break free from this. For another group of you, you have a deep soul bond with somebody that you are in separation from. It is a bond that is tied spiritually. This is a lot of deep passion, sexual desire. Um, your guys' connection is just very, very deep on a soul level, on an emotional level, on a physical level. It's just all there. It's deep, deep passion. And you are going to find success in moving forward towards this person. Um, could be this fire sign um, from your past that you have not gotten over, um, that that you had to possibly walk away from, or they walked away from you, causing you all this sadness and leaving you in a situation, um, in a relationship that is not emotionally satisfying. Um, this relationship that you're currently stuck in for this group of you, um, you are going to, in the future, be able to um, break free from that energy and be successful in regaining that bond, strengthening that bond, because you're going to begin to uh, lead with your heart, to take action following your heart. Um, most definitely, if you are dealing with a Sagittarius, you your next two cards out were temperance and judgment. So you, if you follow your heart, Heart, you could be um, coming back together with a divine partner with the temperance card or a Sagittarius. Um, 
because this is a blessed union right here that the universe will give you a second chance at coming back together if you lead with your heart, if you speak the truth to your current situation and allow the divine to lead you in the direction you're meant to go. This bond will come back together and um, be even stronger than ever before. All right. No matter what, at the end of the day, you are going to find success with that six of wands. So, um, but you got to allow the energy in. You have to get out of your head, Virgos, and you have to move forward and get out of that stagnant um, place that you feel you're in. All right. Let's go, Capricorn. Capricorn, Sun, or sun Moon, Rising, and Venus. Past, present, future. What do we got for you? Capricorn. All right, Capricorns. Thank you. Your first card out is the Empress in reverse. Your second two cards out are the Fool and Strength. Wow, Major Arcana. And your future energy. Wow. Okay, I'm taking them all. Your bottom of the deck and shared energy is the Hermit. Clarified with the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. And the Sun card. Okay, you guys have one, two, three, four, five, six, six out of nine major arcana and a court card here. So hold on Capricorns. You guys are going through some major changes. We'll start with your shared energy. Um, you could be in separation from somebody at the moment, or you're just taking a step back from a relationship, um, trying to decide what it is that you want to do, trying to find um, the spiritual meaning behind things. You're not really planting any seeds of intention right now. You're not really investing in anything because you're just really trying to figure out what it is that you got going on and what it is that you want out of life. The universe has illuminated a lot of things for you in your path, and it's really caused you to take a step back and question what does this mean what are where am i going where is this taking me and what do i do from here um make sure you continue to work on yourself to be patient with yourself and most importantly plant those seeds of intention so the universe can help guide you in that direction that you're wanting to go in um for some of you you're finding the courage to do what it is that you want you've been holding back um in this time a hermit you have really found the courage to move forward and take life into your own hands and uh, not really listen to what everybody else thinks or says or tries to tell you what to do in your past, you have the Empress in reverse. Something didn't get off the ground here. Um, it was something that was not meant to be manifested at the time. You could have been dealing with somebody who is very manipulative, somebody who is playing mind games with you. You could have been the third party, or this is just something that didn't get off the ground that you had hoped would uh, work successfully. You tried to manifest this situation. You tried to manifest this success, but in the end, you got um, somebody that was uh, just kind of playing games with you. Uh, coming into this new energy, you or you made the choice with the two of swords in reverse. You made the choice to walk away from being in that relationship, walking away from being the third party or walking away from a Taurus or walking away from the mother of your children. You decided to walk away. You are taking matters into your own hands and you are creating your own destiny, your own future by manifesting and um, creating your own reality there. Very, very strong energy. And yet and again, another uh, major arcana. In your guys' current energy, I absolutely freaking love this for you guys. Taking a risk, taking a new chance, uh, having a new beginning. For a lot of you, you're doing it single. Um, you're finding the strength and the courage. You're taming your inner beast. You're taming your inner demons. You're moving forward. You're taking that leap of faith within yourself. And you're throwing caution to the wind. There's the hermit. My God. All, I cannot believe the major arcana we got out here with Capricorn. Why strength here? No one flipped in there. All right. 
So with the fool, taking that jump, taking that leap, you're going to do that as soon as you come out of this hermit um, that you're currently in right now. This is finding your inner light. This is coming out of that time. You're retreating down from the mountain and you're ready to jump right off that cliff, ready to take the leap of faith, doing what it is that you want, following your heart, following your intuition, um, and doing what you want, taking that leap no matter who approves or not, because you are you are seeing the gift from the universe. You are seeing the gift and having that inner strength. You're seeing the gift and having confidence in yourself. You're seeing the gift and having your emotions in check. You are seeing what the universe is trying to show you. You know that Ace of Cups is out there for you and you are going to move forward out of a situation where somebody didn't value you, didn't love you, didn't treat you the way you were meant to be treated and you are now going to have the strength to create that for you and yourself in your future energy you are putting this behind you you are putting this third party you're no longer going to be a secret you're no longer going to sneak around with anybody you're no longer going to be a part of this energy because you know you deserve better you know you didn't deserve uh the way that you were treated in this situation yeah and you could be blocking somebody. You, This person that uh, put you in this situation, you could be blocking messages from them, not wanting to hear from them. You're trying to separate your energy um, so that you can find that place of healing, so that you can rejuvenate yourself, so you can... Um, so that you can work towards what it is that you desire. With the star card and this healing energy, you are going to come out of the state of confusion that this person intentionally puts you in. When you have the seven of cups and the magician in one spread, this is somebody who intentionally confused you, intentionally tried to keep you in one place so they could selfishly have you for themselves, but yet they were entertaining other people. This is getting out of that confusion, seeing this person for who they are, and you are going to move forward and take action. You're going to get your confidence back. You're going to get your self-esteem. You're going to know your value, your worth. You're not afraid to take action anymore. You, my friend, are looking very fabulous and you're going to draw in beautiful relationships because your cards out are the nine and 10 of cups. Oops, I have that upside down. The nine and 10 of cups, wishes fulfilled. Not only just wishes fulfilled, but doing the work in order for your wishes to come true. You really are taking action, Capricorn, and you are going to find that true love. You are going to find that happiness. You are leaving behind the cheating, lying asshole of a person, male or female, and you are finding the confidence and the, uh, will to move forward. And you are most definitely manifesting a very strong um, person in coming into your life that's going to make you very happy, that's going to make you aware of how beautiful you are, how desired you are, how you should be valued and put on that pedestal, how you should really feel about yourself because this is how the world views you and you're not you're not seeing it at the moment because of the confusion that this person brought to your life. But head towards that star of Capricorn because when you find that beautiful place of healing, that is when you are going to find this person um, rushing into your life and really making your dreams come true, being that person that you have always wanted and hoped for um, and, and treating you the best way that you should be treated. All right, let's get a romance angel card for you guys. Taurus. Thank you. All right. Virgo and Capricorn. Let's get that one. All right. So Virgo or Taurus, you guys have heart to heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. Like I said, you guys are in a situation with somebody where you guys are very closed off. You're not sharing your emotions. You're very blocked. The house feels very cold. Um, you could be in the same room with each other and it feels like you're in the Arctic. It's just cold. No conversation. You need to open up your heart. You need to open up your mouth. And you need to make this person aware of how you're truly feeling um, and see if you can either work it out or if you both need to move on because what is going on right now is not working. And um, you think you're, you know, you're 
you could have children, two children for some of you, but you think that you're doing the children a favor by staying with this person. But look at, look at that person's face. They're not happy. So what you are modeling for these children is a very loveless relationship. Yeah, you may be under the same roof with these children, but you're not showing them what love is. Um, between another adult. Um, you're showing them, them that love is cold. Love don't talk to each other. Love don't sit down and have meals together. You just co-inhabit the same household. So um, for a lot of you, if you are staying together for the children, um, remember that a lot of times it is uh, more beneficial to for children to be in two happy loving homes than one home that is very cold. So just um, remember that when you're having your heart-to-heart -heart discussions, because for this group of you, a lot of you are just staying there because of the children, and you're very unhappy. So um, go within, reflect, see what it is that you truly want, and honestly open up to your partner. You both deserve to be honest with each other. Virgos, finance and career. Financial issues are a factor right now in your love life. So a lot of you could be looking for love and you just don't feel like you have the finances to be out there dating and, and looking around. For some of you, you're staying in a relationship that is very emotionally draining, that is very unhappy because of finances. You fear not having enough money. You fear lack. You fear being financially struggling. Um, some of you could be looking for a job right now so you don't feel like you have the means to um, go out on your own. But um, they're calling for you to focus on your finances, focus on your career, get your stability, get your feet on the ground. Um, so then your love life can either move forward um, together and flourish or move forward together separate, however it is that you are leaning towards. But for this group of you, you're emotionally drained and you're staying in a loveless relationship due to um, your lack of finances. So start working towards that stability so you can um, have the courage and the finances to move forward in the direction that you want to go, Virgos. All right, Capricorn, engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. This is for those ones of you that are moving to or towards that star here in the near future, finding that healing. As soon as you find that healing, that person is going to come storming into your life. And like I said, treat you just the way that you're meant to be treated, to um, honor you, to value you, and just to um, show you uh, that what it feels like to be truly loved. And that person, next person coming in for you, uh, after you get over this heartache of that cheating scenario, you are going to um, find a very long-term relationship with this person. For some of you Capcorns, you are calling in your soulmate. For some of you Capcorns, calling in your life partner. Either way, the for a majority of you, the person that is going to come into your life after you find that place of healing and love and self-confidence and, and self um value, that is going to be the person you spend the rest of your life with. So very positive energy for you, Capricorns. You guys are finally moving in the right direction, realizing your value, your worth, and realizing that you need to be treated much, much better, and you deserve a lot more than what you've been getting with that third-party situation. So, so happy for you, Capricorns. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed your Friday reading. I will see you next time, and God bless.